ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I want to come out here and talk about the whole Jesse Street Meat Smollett situation, honey, okay? So what's going down is that Jesse was indicted with 16 charges over the weekend, and each one of those charges are anywhere from three to four years in prison, which is a total of 64 years in prison that Jesse Smollett is looking at. And so now he's since hired famed attorney Mark Garagos. We all know him from defending, you know, Michael Jackson, defending Chris Brown and other big celebrities. So that's who, you know, Jesse's riding with. And so as of today, he was seen strutting into court, basically with his head held high. He is denouncing the claims. He's maintaining his innocence. I want you guys to go ahead and peep this video really quick. Check this out. See Smollett's next court appearance will be televised. Smollett's legal team says it is welcoming cameras for all of his court dates to stop any what they call misinformation. The Empire actor facing 16 felony counts after police say he filed a false report about a hate crime in Chicago. His attorneys deny those allegations. All right, so you guys just saw Jesse strutting into court. And so basically they're gonna go ahead and provide evidence that he didn't have anything to do with this, that he's innocent, it's a setup, the police bumbled and fumbled and all that good stuff, okay? But right now the brother's attorney, she's speaking and she's saying that the brothers regret their participation in this entire scheme with Jesse. And they felt like they were used by Jesse um, in this situation. So they're very upset and they're speaking through their lawyer. Um, I also wanna go ahead and show you guys the news clip where they're breaking it down as to why Jesse might be looking at 64 years. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glore and this is our Western edition. We're gonna begin with an indictment on 16 felony counts. Actor Jesse Smollett, who was first arrested last month is accused of staging a hate crime against himself. If convicted on the charges we learned about late this afternoon, he could face decades behind bars. Dean Reynolds has been following this story from the beginning and reports from Chicago. Smollett, a co-star of the TV show Empire, was charged last month with a single felony for involving disorderly conduct for filing a false police report. Now, the Cook County Grand Jury has charged him with felonies for every alleged lie he told the Chicago police who were compiling that report. Smollett told them he was roughed up on the street near his Chicago apartment early on the 29th of January by two men who hurled racial and homophobic slurs at him, doused him with a chemical and tied a noose around his neck while yelling, this is MAGA country. Initially, police called him a victim, but surveillance cameras showed no assault. They did show these two men, however, who quickly went from persons of interest to key witnesses when they told the cops Smollett had paid them to stage the attack. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson was outraged. Jesse Smollett took advantage of the pain and anger of racism to promote his career. I'm left hanging my head and asking why. According to the grand jury, Smollett knew there was no reasonable ground for believing that such offenses had been committed. They said he falsely claimed he was a victim of a hate crime, that one of his attackers was a white man, that he was hit in the face, that a noose was draped around his neck, and that he had fought back, a claim he repeated at a concert days later. I fought back. Now, each one of the 16 counts carries a maximum penalty of four years in prison. That's 64 years in total. Smollett is due back here in Chicago in court next Thursday. A grand jury in Chicago has indicted Empire actor Jesse Smollett on 16 felony counts. The openly gay actor is accused of staging a homophobic and racist attack on himself in January. Well, according to the indictment, Smollett allegedly paid two brothers to use racial slurs and beat him. The men have since told police that they regret their involvement in the case. Smollett denies any wrongdoing. And Gloria Schmidt is the attorney for the two brothers involved in the alleged crime, and she joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank so you. listen. We now have Jesse Smollett being indicted, 16 counts. What was the reaction uh, from your clients when they heard about this? You know, what they are really focused on right now and what I can tell you about their reaction is that they feel tremendously regretful for their role in, this, in, in their involvement uh, in the situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all the other peripherals are outside of their main focus right now, which is to, you know, pick up the pieces of what this has done uh, to their lives and to try to make this something positive.
you know, try to make something positive for them and have a positive uh, impact on the community. Are they facing any charges at all? They're not, mm -hmm. no. So according to the Chicago police, the Osandario brothers told investigators that Jesse Smollett paid them for the alleged attack. Can you walk us through the role that they say they played in, in this attack and how it played out? Well, what I can tell you is um, primarily that this entire thing started because they put their trust in the wrong person. Um, everyone wants to know, well, at what time did they get uh, detained? Where was it at Customs, O'Hare? Listen, this started way before that. Mm. Um, you have someone here who is a celebrity type, someone who is in a position of trust, uh, someone who works with these people, someone who's able to help their careers if, they, if he so wants to, and then he betrays them. So, so the impact that, that this has had, not only on them, but on minority populations, that weighs very heavily on them. Why do you say? Honey. All right, so you guys just saw what the attorney had to say. And in my personal opinion, Jesse has no loyalty to anybody. This is the same man where it came out a few weeks ago that he was pulled over for drunk driving or something like that. And instead of him taking onus, and saying, okay, I'm Jesse Smollett, I made a mistake, here goes my driver's license, he lied and stated that he was his brother. If he was willing to get his brother a criminal charge because he couldn't own up to his own shit, these Nigerian brothers should not be shocked at all. Uh, Jesse will use anybody, you know what I'm saying, to make a name for himself or to get himself out of any particular situation. And I think the bad part now with this whole scheme unraveling is that these two Nigerian brothers will always be tied to this fuck shit. You know, so I think that part is really messed up. Now, as far as Jesse facing 64 years in prison, I definitely feel like that's excessive. And I stated that before. I don't feel like he needs to do, you know, 5, 10, 15 years in prison because at the end of the day, nobody died. But he definitely deserves to be punished. He definitely deserves to do some time and to be punished. I say one, two years max. But not 64 damn years. It's not that damn serious. After all, Ryan Lochte, he lied on a whole nation and he didn't go to jail at all. You know, but again, the way that he's carrying himself, the fact that he just refuses to admit that he fucked up, that he fabricated this, just shows you how much of a narcissist Jussie is. I know some of y'all still want to believe him and find him innocent, but from day one, like I've been telling y'all, the story sounded like bullshit. This man made up a bunch of mess. He added way too much sauce to his damn story. And he's not affected a lot of people. He affected an entire community. You know what I'm saying? He has a gay community out here looking bad. He has a black community out here looking bad. He was just doing way too damn much, okay? You know, so I think at the end of the day, Jussie needs to be held responsible for what he did he definitely needs to be punished does he need to be in prison for 64 years no i don't think so but he definitely needs to face consequences for what he did it's not okay to just make up a story it's not okay to just lie let's say a person was there at the wrong place wrong time type scenario and it was just some random white guy it could have been pinned on him he could have been one of the attackers. You just never know how far this lie could have gone. And I think that's where people need to hold the gay Tupac accountable. He told way too many inconsistencies. He told way too many lies. And so I don't find him innocent. I don't find him credible. If he could lie about one thing and get caught up in the lie, he could lie about the entire situation. I'm not saying that the Chicago police are not corrupt, that they've not done corrupt things. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying in this particular situation, I don't believe a word that's coming out of Jesse's mouth. And that's why he ran to go get a lawyer before he was even charged with anything. If you're innocent and you're a victim in a situation, you're not running to go find a defense attorney, you know what I'm saying, unless you feel like shit's about to hit the fan. Because we covered this story from day one and all the moves that Jesse made over the past few weeks up until he was finally charged, they were all shady and suspicious moves. So I'm not buying any of this. It's gonna be very interesting to see how everything plays out. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this updated information on Jesse. How do you guys feel about him strutting into court today? Do you feel like he'll get off? Do you feel like he should get 64 years? Do you feel like that's excessive? What do you feel is a proper punishment for Jesse? Because a lot of people are saying 64 years is too much, but then people don't want him to have a slap on the wrist either. So do you agree with me that one to two years max is good enough time for him? Or do you feel like he should just pay a fine? And then how do you feel about his arrogant attitude where he just refuses to fess up and just admit that he messed up and that he lied about everything? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs>